Today, I am going to solve one numerical problem on incompressible fluid flow and acceleration. Here is the problem statement. Consider a fluid particle whose motion is described by the following velocity field. V is equal to x square y i, y square z j and minus 2 x y z minus y z square k. Prove that it is a case of possible steady incompressible fluid flow and calculate the velocity and acceleration at the point 1 2 3 means at x is equal to 1 y is equal to 2 and z is equal to 3 and that point what is the velocity and acceleration now first continuity equation for a case of possible steady incompressible fluid flow the continuity equation should be satisfied like del u by del x plus del v by del y plus del w by del z is equal to 0. So that equation must be satisfied. If it is satisfied then we can say it is a possible case of steady incompressible fluid flow. Now we know from that equation vector field or velocity field. So that is x square y i plus y square z j plus minus of 2 x y z minus y z square k. So, from here that x square y is nothing but u, y square z is nothing but v and minus 2 x y z minus y, y z square is w means these are the velocity component x velocity component is x square y y velocity component is y square z and z velocity component is minus 2 x y z minus y z square now calculate calculating the partial derivative means we have to find out that del u by del x plus del v by del y plus del w by del z is equal to 0 now first we am i'm going to calculate du by dx so du by dx is nothing but 2xy dv by dy is from here so 2yz and dw by del z so that is del w by del z is minus 2xy minus 2yz now del u by del x plus del v by del y del w by del z if i plug all this calculating partial derivative that is 2xy 2yz minus 2xy 2yz so 2yz 2yz we cancel out and 2xy 2xy will be cancelled out so this is 0 so means this equation means from this equation is satisfied so thus the velocity field v is equal to x square y i plus y square z j plus minus of 2xy z minus y z square k is a possible case of fluid flow that is proved now next is the velocity calculation at that point so velocity calculation at that point 2 1 3 that is x is equal to 2 y is equal to 1 z is equal to 3 into the velocity field so that will be b is equal to 2 to the power square 1 i 1 square uh, into 3 j plus minus 2 into 2 into 1 3 minus 1 is to 3 square k so it will be like a 4 i 3 j minus 2 21k now if we calculate resultant velocity so resultant velocity will be 21.6 units now acceleration component so x dx and acceleration component is u del u by del x plus v del u by del y plus w del u by del z plus del u by del t and acceleration component y direction u dv by dx p dv by dy plus w dv by dz not d del plus del v by del t you know here everything is del not d and az is equal to u uh, del w by del x plus p del w by del y plus w del w by del z plus del w by del t so we have to calculate all this cal uh, all this component and then finally we can easily calculate the acceleration vector is a is equal to axi plus ayj plus azk 
and resulted acceleration or magnitude will be mod of a that is root over of ax square ay square plus az square now we have to calculate one by one what is ax what is ay and what is az for that we have to calculate the derivatives of the uh, particular component okay now here that u is we know x square y v is y square z and w minus 2 x y z minus y z square so here first we have to calculate du by dx so that is nothing but 2 x square du by dy that is x square du sorry del u by del y that is x square del u by del z is 0 so here del u by del x again everything is partial derivative so del not d so del u by del x 2x y del u del v by del x that is 0 and del v by del y that is 2yz and del v by del z y square and del w by del x minus 2yz del w by del y that is minus 2xz minus z square del w by del z minus 2xy minus 2yz now if we put that x is equal to 2 y is equal to 1 z is equal to 3 we will get the different component value okay so here so del u by del x nothing but 4 del u by del y is nothing but again 4 del u by del z is 0 and del u by del x is equal to 0 del u by del y is equal to 6 so we will get the component value now after getting that all this component value you have to plug and another thing is that so here in that velocity field velocity vector so there is a uh, in the, if you go back here so in that case here there is a no t term so here all this term du by de, sorry del u by del t del u by del t and del w by del t all are zero it is zero and it is a steady state case so that is zero so now here so we know this component this component this component if we plug ultimately ax we will get 28 units ay again if you plugging so that will be given minus 3 units and az again so u del uh, sorry uh, delta w by delta x b delta w by delta y if we plug all these values so az will be 123 units so finally we can calculate the acceleration so here we got here we got that ax is 28 unit ay is minus 3 unit az is equal to 1 to 3 unit so if we acceleration vector a is so 28 i minus 3j plus 123k so now calculate the magnitude so mod of a is nothing but square root of 28 square minus 3 square plus 123 square so we'll get 126.4 unit that's it